Hi there, I was out at the estate sales yesterday and I found a couple more dolls. Actually, I found three dolls. Um, last time I did a show and tell, I um, thought these dolls, these little baby dolls, were porcelain. But they're not. They're actually vinyl. And this one, they're made by Gigo. Uh, G-I-G-O. This one is called uh, Palm Pal. Um, she's um, eight inches and they were made in 1998 and this one has uh, is stuffed with uh, beanbag pellets so um, a lot of people when you see them on eBay or you see them they're called uh, beanbag babies but this one is um, the 8 inch one I found this one um, yesterday at the um, Boy Scouts of America yard sale I paid two dollars for her She's also one of those Jago dolls, but this one is uh, 11 inches, and she's not stuffed with any bean bags. She's just soft sculpture inside, but she's also from 1998, and you can find these on 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 eBay for sale quite often. Um, I found her in a box, and I paid two dollars for her. She had um, rubber bands on the bottom of her ponytails, but the um, elastic was so old that it just fell off so I just brushed out her hair to see if I could get some of the elastic I mean the um, rubber out of there to clean her up but she's kind of cute this one she has her tongue stuck out and um, they're very cute I never saw them back in 1998 but I wasn't really into dolls back then so but they're very cute and they all have different facial facial um, um, designs. They're yawning, they're crying, they're pouting, all kinds of stuff, and they usually have big ears and funny expressions. But their hair is rooted, and um, they are cute. And you can get them for a couple dollars. This one I found it in the state sale. This is from 1960, between 1960 and 1962, they sold these dolls in the um, grocery stores. They were made by um, Aeroplastics. You can tell on the back of her neck, um, she's got a little diamond and then an arrow through it. She's got a stain back here on her neck. And I put a pin in the back of her dress because her dress was just oversized. But this is, um, you can find these dolls on, on eBay quite often and they're usually blonde with green eyes. This one's a brunette with blue eyes. There's one for sale right now on eBay for $14.99, but it looks like the eyes have been uh, damaged on that one. They come in these organza dresses with uh, satin, satin uh, lining under it. This is embroidered on an um, embroidery machine in variegated colors, pinks and greens. I'm going to put some organza on my sewing machine and embroider it and see how it turns out, see if I could get some with the wash away stabilizer and see how I can how the embroidery turns out on this organza. I've never tried it, but it's a very pretty dress. Um, but it's discolored. There's some damage to it. Um, she was I paid. Um, she was listed for four dollars, and um, I ended up paying three dollars for her because um, it was twenty five cent twenty five percent off. But um, her dress, I put a little pin in the back because it was it's just too loose on her um, on her body. Uh, it needs to be tightened up. But um, I don't think I can um, I don't think I can um, you know repair the dress. I could probably take it up a few inches and get rid of this damage here. But it's so discolored and old, I'm not even going to bother trying to fix it. Um, she had, somebody had taken a, a lighter or some clippers or something and uh, clipped off, I don't know if you can see it or not, but they clipped off her, burnt off or clipped off her little finger. I didn't even notice it till I got her home. So what I did is I took some Sculpey clay and I matched her skin color and I uh, filled in her finger with that clay and I'm going to try and uh, get some skin color paint with some matte finish and coat it so to make it more stable and find a little bit of red um, fingernail polish and see if I can put a finger, fingers. She needs that, she needs a new manicure anyway so I might just take off the red or find a prettier color and repaint her, her fingernails. Um, 
she articulates on the um, the waist top just like my other 20 25 inch doll the other the redhead with the green hair with the red hair with the green eyes she's um I don't want to wreck her finger let me see if I can get this off you can tell the dress is old because the um it's it's just colored the 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 um I can't even talk today I don't know why the um The things are falling apart. You can see where it was originally, and it's discolored. The um, see, I've already lost it. They've just about fallen off already, just from taking them on and off a few times. But that's the dress, and you'll see this dress a lot on on these dolls. It must have been a pretty popular doll because um, there were so many. Um, I've seen that dress so many times. But she articulates in the middle, and it, don't be surprised if she's her body is stained because of the pink in the embroidery thread. I'm going to have to put that uh, acne medicine on here and see if I can get some of these stains off. Her hair was extremely dry. Um, her eyes are sleepy eyes. I've, I've taken the silicone spray and I sprayed her hair like three times already and it's getting softer but when I first got it it felt like straw. All my, I mean it was just really really dry and she had bare spots in the back so I've sprayed her with silicone like three times already and I've been letting it just sit in and um, let it letting it dry you can tell when it dries up on you because it's not it doesn't come off on your fingers anymore but um, so that's her she like I said she articulates she didn't come with any shoes and I was thinking about buying the one on eBay for the $14.99, but they want $14 in shipping, so it'd be $28. But I could be able, to, I would be able to replace her arm with the other arm. But the problem with that is um, she doesn't come with shoes. And I looked to get some shoes for 25-inch dolls, and they want $14.99 for a pair of high heel shoes. So I'm going to try and make my own um, high heel shoes and see how they they turn out but we'll see I'll see if I can fix her up and get her going and make her a nice outfit and see how she turns out so she's about 58 years old and she's almost like the other doll and um, that's what they look like okay I'll see you guys later bye